Good evening. This will be part four of Northwest UFO Chasers radio broadcast. Last time we left you hanging with the watchers. So buckle in, sit down, stay tuned. This is going to be a really good one, man. This is where the aliens and the Bible get kind of like mixed up. But I'm about ready to straighten it all out for you. So bear with me. Thank you. Okay, if you remember last time, we were talking about the Watchers. And let me just give you the full definition of what the Watchers are, according to Wikipedia here. The Watchers, from the Greek, or Grigori, or are a group of fallen angels told of in the Biblical Apocrypha, who mated with human females, giving rise to a race of hybrids known as the Nephilim. The Nephilim are also mentioned in Genesis 6-4, but that verse notably lacks mention of them being human-angel hybrids. The Watchers appear in Biblical Apocrypha in the first and second books of Enoch and Jubilees. The word Grigori derives from the Slavonic second book of Enoch. And so there's a interesting uh, element and of course what we were uh, the watchers are first mentioned in the books of Enoch which are you know makes it kind of interesting and basically in the books of Enoch they're described as angels, but in today's modern ufology, of course, angels seem to be a lot, or the question can be asked, could they potentially be space aliens or alien intelligence from somewhere else? And, uh, of course, I happen to know that this is more the case, that an advanced Nordic alien intelligence is visiting our planet and has great capabilities and they also are the ones that were mistaken for angels early on in our history and uh, but uh, on our website the book details out and lists the the angels and their hierarchy for one thing and another it lists the books of Enoch which are the book of the watchers the book of parables of Enoch the astronomical book the book of dream visions and the epistle of Enoch and uh, I find it interesting that they have this hierarchy of angels and they have this first levels and they're Seraphims and cherubim, Ophanim, and then there's a second level with dominions and virtues and powers, and third level principalities, archangels, angels. And uh, it seems that there was 200 of them that basically came to earth, and or they were known as the fallen, but they banded together against God and they mated with mortal women and ended up having a race of giants which are known as the Nephilim and this is referenced in Genesis 6 2 the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were fair and they took to wife such as them as they chose then the Lord said my spirit shall not abide in man forever for he is flesh but his days shall be a hundred and twenty years the Nephilim were on the earth in those days and also afterward, when the sons of God came into the daughters of men, and they bore children to them, these were the mighty men that were of old, the men of renown. And I find that interesting, and then it jumps over to, this results in the creation of the Nephilim, Genesis, or Anakim, Anak, which to me 
there could be a correlation or a tie, and we'll get back to this, of Anunnaki, Anakam, Anak, Anakam means giants. And it goes on to say, as they are described in the book, and they became pregnant, and they bear great giants, whose height was 3,000 L's, who consumed all the acquisitions of men, and when men could no longer sustain them, the giants turned against them and devoured mankind, and they began to sin against birds and beasts and reptiles and fish, and to devour one another's flesh and drink the blood. It also discusses the teachings of humans by the fallen angels, chiefly Azazel. And Azazel taught men to make swords and knives and shields and breastplates, and made known to them the metals of the earth and the art of working them, and bracelets and ornaments and the use of anatomy and the beautifying of the eyelids and all kinds of costly stones and all coloring tinctures. And there arose much godlessness and they committed fornication and they were led astray and became corrupt in all their ways. Sem Jezel taught enchantments and root cuttings Amaros and resolving of enchantments and basically it goes on from there and then and then I wanted to point out giants in Deuteronomy chapter 3 verse 11 for only Og king of Bashan remained of the remnants of the Rephaim referring to giants as in Rephaim and now when you look at the book and this is basically referenced in a hundred thousand years BC. You will see that there are some movies over there, some video substantiation. One's called Giants. I highly recommend that. Proof humans lived with dinosaurs and that men were giants. And that's absolutely essential that we pick up on this proof of the footprints there and so that's pretty exciting and uh, I'm gonna take a break right here for a minute and I'll be right back with you okay we're coming right back after the break and we've been talking about giants and I'm about ready to stay in that same time period uh, as in the book with a hundred thousand years BC and we're gonna move into that time frame of Atlantis you Libyan and the Egyptian colonies are declared daughter empires uh, right in here there's a lot of mythology about Atlantis and there's also this new modern mythology that talks about the alien races and we, what, what, what it is is we get in here and we talk about the Atlanteans and they began forming alliances with renegade Palladians so there was the Palladian teachings and the Alpha Centaurians and there's a hierarchical system to these alien races and I've listed the alien races on the website in alphabetical order, as in Alpha Centaurians, Andromedans, Altarians, and Nunaki, Antarians, Arcturians, Bellatraxians, Capellians, Cassiopeians, Cygnus, Alphians, Epsilon, Bacchians, Hydrians, and there are, you can read, you know, it goes on. There's Orion Greys in there and Tau Cetians and Vagans and Wolves 42ers. And there's just really, as you can see, too many to list. And, of course, but I want to mention Zeta Reticulans, you know, the Greys. But uh, there's this linkage. And I can hope you can see that I wanted to put this parallelism between where we were going with angels and ufology. And, and I'm only painting a picture and I'm... I'm only asking questions here and, and you're helping me and we're you know we're gonna we're gonna get somewhere here in the end and uh, let's leave it at that 